It's pretty hard to learn 3D modeling while in school, mainly because we're so busy trying to keep up with classes, learning, and even doing outside school activities. However, you can use this to your advantage. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joshua Adam via 2EasyCG, and today we're going to be discussing learning 3D modeling and CG while in high school. But this can go for any other sort of school, like film school, college, it's hard to learn pretty much anything when we have blockers, like school as the main example. But you can even have other things stopping you like sports, events, etc. But putting aside the other blockers and focusing on the main one, school. You can actually use this to your advantage. And if not, there are a few ways how you can still be able to learn and practice 3D modeling. First off, if you want to learn 3D modeling, you need to be committed to it. If you're not committed to learn it, you're not going to be able to properly learn and practice 3D modeling in school. You need to know if you really want to get into this, which kind of leads to my first point of this video. If you can, try to join a class that involves 3D modeling. Now this can be anything like 3D art, architecture studio, advanced engineering, game development, 3D printing. Not only will you be able to have the chance to learn a type of CG, or practice it, but it will also sort of open a door for you to see if you'll even like 3D modeling, if you even want to get into it, to give you that feel, you know. Okay, so let's say you can take a class that has to do with CG. Well, you can still use school to your advantage to both learn and practice 3D modeling. Okay, so one time I had a Spanish project in which we all had to showcase a map or different images of an interior of a house and label the different rooms in Espanol. We could do it however we want. We could build it, we could, you know, t just take pictures of a real house. We could even do something as simple as to draw it. I used this assignment as an opportunity to practice 3D modeling. So what I did was, I first modeled the layout of, you know, the house. Then I modeled the different objects in the different rooms. Uh, the main things at least, like the countertops, the bed, the, the table, the couch, etc. Now, I did this because one, it's just an assignment. We don't have to go full on for each different rooms. Like the tiny details, like maybe these things in the back. Because, you know, it's an assignment. But this is also good because it also allows me, I'm practicing modeling like furniture. And this would be really useful for in the future for, let's say, um, if I were to model like an interior or an architecture scene, but not only that, while I'm modeling those things, I'm able to learn different aspects and different things that maybe I didn't know I could do when creating this certain object in the software, like using a modifier or heck, I didn't know this this um, this feature ex existed to, I guess, bevel the corners of this object, you know, things like that. And then I turned them in as rendered images. Well, obviously, I didn't have to render out the images. You could just send them in as screenshots from inside the interface, the software interface. But getting back to the main point. Now, this assignment or project required creativity in which we could do whatever we want, like draw or whatever, just as long as we were, just as long as we were able to show a layout or pictures of a different rooms of a house and be able to label them in Espanol. So I use it to my advantage to practice and even learn along the way 3D modeling. And not only am I slowly improving upon my skills that I already have and learning new things as well, but I'm also completing work for school. Now this can go for almost anything, like let's say 3D printing classes, um, learning and practicing 3D modeling to create the required object to print. Or let's say architecture and archivists, you know, depending on what kind of class you guys have, um, your instructor will allow you guys to create digital 3D visualized representations or, you know, models to, um, I guess, showcase a structure or environment or whatever it is you guys are trying to um, create for your assignment or project. There's so many things that you can do. Heck, it can be something as simple as just practice 3D modeling like a 3D text for the beginning of a presentation that you have for one of your classes. If you're only in high school, there's a huge chance that your school has a class that has to do with 3D modeling, like advanced engineering or just 3D art. Just ask someone like your advisor or someone that you know who's in charge of the classes or your semester schedule and 
they can tell you what classes they got and if there isn't try to find these opportunities that you're able to at least practice or learn 3D modeling for any reason like a school benefit. Now granted you're not always going to have these opportunities so if you don't if you're at home and you have some free time or if you're in class and you're just doing nothing use that chance to look up a tutorial or whatever learn or just practice 3D modeling on your computer. If you don't know how or what to start on go off of a tutorial and see what you can learn from there or if you think you're good to go test yourself model something in the room that you're in doesn't matter if it's simple or complex, just as long as you know that it'll be worth your time. If we want to learn 3D modeling, we need to be committed to learn it. Because when it comes to school, we can always have things stopping us. Blockers, you know. If you guys have any ways on how you guys maybe were able to learn and practice 3D modeling while in school, let everyone know in the comment section below and share your thoughts to others. It's important, you know, because 3D modeling, it takes time to master and we need this time to be able to practice it in order to get better and improve and improve but with so many blockers you know it, it's kind of just hard for us if this video was in any way helpful to you guys or if you just learned something new please leave a like to show your support and feedback and comment below your thoughts on this video thanks so much for watching you can check out my channel if you want i do 3d modeling videos and blender uh, mainly focused on texturing and materials, creating cool materials for your objects, you know. And yeah, thanks for watching again. Stay golden and see ya.